You know, today I want to talk about something that most people don't think about unless they're in this particular situation. So if you have an alcoholic in the family, it could be a son or daughter, but more importantly, if it's a spouse, you have to be concerned as a family member for your personal liability, either through marriage or through parenthood. Uh, because trust me, if you have a wife who has a DUI, uh, who's going to pay those tickets if they don't have a job? What's going to happen if they hit somebody, if they hurt themselves, if they destroy their car? Uh, and all the, the, the unbelievable amount of accidents and problems that can happen. Uh, the liability is really will always fall on the shoulders of the family members because they're the ones that are... Uh, they're the ones that have a job. They're the ones that are reliable. They're the ones that become the fall people. Uh, and a lot of people don't take that into consideration. So let's talk about this further and some ideas and things, thoughts that you can, that family members can go through to protect themselves. And never mind just the financial stress and obligation that the uh, family has to go through, but just the, just the mental anguish of thinking and knowing and the insecurity that families have to go through, knowing that they have a loved one who's an alcoholic and they're behind the wheel of a car or have the potential to do so. Uh, it's a very insecure place for families to be, uh, and it's something that you know it wears heavy on their mind. I mean, you could have a case where a son or a daughter could borrow your car, they get a DUI. Well, who's going to pay for that if you got a 17, 18-year-old kid? Uh, the impound costs when, when you get a DUI, the, the police will take the car. That's six hundred to a thousand bucks to get your car back. The DUI itself, with lawyers' fees and fines is in the neighborhood of $10,000. Um, and those are just the simple things, not, not even the mention uh, you know, of having you know, somebody with a record. Uh, there's just all kinds of issues that you have to worry about and liabilities as, as both a parent and as a spouse. And honestly, as a spouse, it's even worse. If you have you know, a husband or a wife who you know, gets in an accident, uh, causes is someone to get hurt or they hurt themselves or they get chased by the police. There's some, you know, pretty radical things can happen, which is very simple when you're drinking and driving. Uh, and these hap these cases happen all the time. I mean, you, you could be sued. You could lose your house. Uh, you could lose everything that you own. You could really, and it can happen overnight uh, because there is liability. And if you're married to somebody who's an alcoholic, these are things that you have to be cognizant of and you got to be aware of what to do and where to go. And some people just go the route of divorce or separation, which is, you know, it's a practical way to separate. It's a little bit more radical to have to do that. Um, but there's other things you can do just for your assets. I mean, I would highly recommend setting up an LLC, a limited liability corporation. Put your cars, your houses, all your assets, your 401k, put everything into the asset uh, or of the protection of a limited liability corp corporation. And they're very easy to set up. You can set them up online or your tax man can help you set them up. Uh, I think it's a very practical way to solve this issue, especially if you have somebody who's a loose cannon uh, alcoholic in your life. And again, if you want help with these issues or anything related to alcoholism, alcohol use disorder, if you're an alcoholic or if you have someone in your family, please click on the link above, schedule a breakthrough call. Again, I've helped thousands of alcoholics and just as importantly, I've helped their families. <laughs> so again, please like, share and comment. Uh, we also have a Facebook group called Amanda, a cautionary tale of alcoholism, which is becoming a pretty good support group. And we talk about these issues and a whole lot more. And again, Thanks for listening.